All right, hello everyone. Now that we are back and the recording is separated by the actual gameplay, let's get started with a new character. Uh, and uh, for uh, what I wanted to do within this walkthrough in specific uh, is the fact that if I'm going to play Slytherin, I am going to be as an actual Slytherin. Slytherin individual instead of like not being a complete fucking dickhead uh, what i was actually like thinking let's be a complete fucking dickhead compared to my previous uh, playthrough of the game uh, while uh, that's gonna be really out of the area of what will I be as an actual individual as you meet me in person or in YouTube or whatever? Just so you know, I'm not going to be as as much of a dickhead in outside of the games compared to what I'm going to be inside of this playthrough. That, of course, depends whether or not I will be a Slytherin. Uh, that's pretty much it. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on September 1st. Primary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for reasonable re restriction of under underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside the school. However, Due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elisir Elisir Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before ex escorting you from London to the castle from the start of the feast and sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely. Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. So let's begin. Uh, I'm gonna use the. Uh, uh, <coughs> what character was I? I'm gonna use this as a reset. And we are going to go with skin color tag. Those eye thing, glasses. Yeah, whatever. Don't care about anything else. Uh, let's go with this haircut. color uh, let's go with blue uh, uh. for this playthrough I'm gonna be with gonna be which going to be playing on the story i am indeed a student but i can very well be able to help let's you let's get started i should hunt for my coffee but also another oh, fuck. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart it's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting i presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on i have professor well i'm quite sure i've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second hand wand You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! 
Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must Did say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Also, for the for this playthrough, I'm gonna be playing the uh, Kingdom Hearts instead of the controller. I will try my best not to change any type of setting before I start the game. Uh, or uh, during the recording rather. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your travelling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. Uh, how did you wait? We did. That's a fucking dragon. Ambrosia jumped the fuck out. Oh my god, what a fucking dragon. Holy shit. Give me your hand! 
You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. It doesn't matter who made it. What matters is that we are fucking safe here. To this. Either way. Um. We have a lot to catch up on. Like a lot. And I should get started immediately. How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. And Hulk. <sighs> Smash. <laughs> 